I always envision my family being something a little bit more, and it has to start at some point and somewhere in the generation. So I figure that me and being in the Navy and doing well is kind of like the first step of stone in, you know, doing better. You know, I had these, you know, <laughs> these fantasies of being a war hero and, you know, I'm on the battlefield and I'm shooting, shooting the enemy, I'm taking down the Taliban, you know. But um, obviously reality is, reality is a little bit different, but, um, you know, those are all the things that were going through my head when I, when I enlisted. I was a videographer at my, my church and, uh, you know, I had been working on cameras with sticks for a long time. Um, and then when I got to high school, um, I did broadcasting and... Um, so then when I finally graduated high school and I was going to school and I was still serving with my church doing uh, working the cameras on the sticks and um, so I always had like that that vein like I kind of you know I kind of knew the basics of, uh, of being an MC. You know at the time I was going to school to be for fire science so I wanted to be a firefighter. You know the recruiter being a recruiter says oh yeah I mean everyone in the Navy is a firefighter man this is good this is this, you definitely want to join the Navy and I was like uh. The, the uh, recruiter ended up giving me a book full of uh, full of all the jobs in the Navy. And I'm flipping through, flipping through, and uh, I see the job that says MC. Um, I see it and I'm like, all right, put a pin in that one, hold on to that one, let me look. And uh, I take it home, when I got back, I said, yeah, I wanna be an MC. Went to MEPS, did all the stuff, and uh, was in debt for a little while, for a long time, and then came to be an MC. That's how it happened. I really wanted to be in this specific class because um, while I'm probably not naturally, I'm not naturally a gifted photographer, um, I bet if I work my ass off, I can probably probably be pretty pretty dang good. So um, that's kind of why I'm here. That's why I wanted to be in this class. And that's kind of why, that's what I hope to get out of the class anyway. The closest thing to a model for me would be, I mean, I'm, I, I'm a Christian. And um, so like a lot of, you know, your Christian values are the things that I live my life by. I want to do the right thing even when no one's around. I want to do the right thing and be an upstanding individual. Um, so really the only question is, how do you do that? You know, what is your right and what is your wrong? My right and wrong is, comes from, you know, the Bible and my relationship with God.